have you ever got to the point in your presentation, you, you walk them through the process, you show them everything, and then they, they say this, Joey, I like what you're showing me, but man, I have some friends and some family members tell me not to do this because it didn't work for them. And the one thing that I don't want you to do is, is give them some kind of posh uh, uh, remark like, oh, well, have you ever gone to a restaurant and had a bad, you know, experience, you know, had a bad meal? And everybody was going to say, yes, I have. Well, I mean, did you stop going eating at the restaurant? Well, no. So let's not insult people. They're just not educated. We just got to bring them through the process of where their mindset is, their mindset is right now at this time. So this is what I do. I say, John, really, I'm glad you shared with that with me because a lot of times people are really afraid to say what's on their mind. And so let me ask you these two questions, John. The people, your friends or family, were they really dedicated? Were they really committed? Are they a type of person that when they get into something that they never quit? Are they a type of person that when they get into something that it's a never die attitude that I'm going to make it at all costs? Or are they a type of person that says, well, you know, I tried that. That didn't work. And they give up really easy. And are they a type of person that is really, I mean, hungry to make it? And usually when I ask that question, most of the time I get is that, no, you know, I mean, they're kind of fickle sometimes. And so I have to ask them, well, John, I mean, why would you pay any attention to those guys? I mean, why would you even want to listen to somebody like that that's not going to be out in a sense, an all-out pursuit for what they want in life. And then let me ask you another question, John. When you go to work on a daily basis, you go to work with commitment and you go there with a sense of responsibility to work real hard, right? So if I told you um, that plan is going to take you 45 years, um, I mean, at this point, I mean, if they raise the Social Security level, I mean, who knows when people will be able to retire. But the whole thing is, you go, you work 45 years of your life, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into a company, and they give you a check. Now, the thing is, it's going to take you 45 or however long years, you know, to retire. Now, what if you could take that same effort, that same commitment that you put in your job, and put it into this business? And say it took you five, maybe ten years to become financially free. I mean, think about it. Which one would you rather have? 45 or 10? So my thing is, what can you really do in this business with commitment and hard work? So, John, this is what I'm trying to tell you is, is that if you're going to put that same hard work and commitment into your job, why not put it into this? Now, another question, John, let me ask you. Now, I think you told me before that you said that this didn't work for you before. Now, I have to ask you the same question, John. I mean, I'm not trying to insult you, but were you committed? And if you were, I mean, that's fine. And I understand you probably were committed. But let me ask you this. Did you have the right mindset? Did you have the right skill set? Because what happens usually, John is that most people, when they get in this industry, they just don't know what to do. They get involved with their friend or their family member, like you said, who didn't make it, and then they end up didn't make it because they just didn't have the right training. And so, John, that's what I'm saying, is that I'm going to show you, I'm going to plug you into a system, our training, where we teach you how to do online, if that's your forte, or we're going to teach you how to do offline, home parties, building lists, going out, talking to people. Well, however you want to do it, I'm going to help you. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to be successful. See, the problem is when you come into this business, we just don't sometimes have the right mindset or sometimes you don't have the right skill set or vice versa. We don't have the right skill set, but we have the right mindset or we don't have, we have the right mindset but we don't have a good skill set. So we need to marry both of those together right now to make it whole. And so that's what I'm going to teach you. Now, John, let me be honest with you. It's not going to be a success overnight. 
Whoever told you or your friends or family that this was going to be easy, they lied to you. This is not easy, John. I'm asking for a commitment, and I'm not just asking for you to give me 60 days. I'm asking you for you to give me the next two years so I can really mold you and shape you into being something. Now, think about it. When you learned a new skill or you went to college and you gained a, a mindset for a job that you have now or, you know, something that you had to train for, it took a while for that to really catch on for you to be like fully humming in your job or fully humming in your profession. And so what I'm saying is, is I'm not asking you to quit your job. What I'm saying is I need you to give me your time and I need you to give me your commitment. And if you're willing to do that, I'm willing to work with you. I'm willing to put, you know, my blood, sweat, and tears into you and help you be successful because I'm about you. I'm, I'm about you, John, helping you get success. So at the end of the day, let's not just give people these posh remarks and insult their intelligence. Let's be genuine with people. Some people just really don't understand. And so they're just, they're just, it's another, like I said, it's an objection and you got to give them the roadmap. You got to give them the right information and show them how their mindset is not in the right place. Just show them, give them a concrete answer, ask them some serious questions because at the end of the day, we are talking about serious business. We're talking about financial freedom. We're talking about living the life of your dreams. So when you get that question or that remark, answer it with some genuine, answer it with some, some real heartfelt, you know, say their name, you know, be involved in what they're saying and understand how they feel because they just don't understand. Educate them and they will be successful. If you give them the right mindset when they first come in your business, they have the right work commitment, they're committed to what you're doing, and then now you start building their skill set. What do they like? Are they an internet guy? Are they an offline guy? Or they might be both or one. And just start giving people knowledge. Train them to be successful. You got to teach a man to fish so that way he can eat for the rest of his days.